Are you trying to decide between buying a condo in Buckhead or Midtown? Are there any differences that you should be aware of? I'm going to cover that in today's video and give you a kind of a brief update of what's been going on in the Atlanta condo market overall. So stay tuned. We're talking all about living in Atlanta right now. Hey guys, my name is Molly and welcome back to my channel where I talk all things living here in the Atlanta area. And today we're going to be talking about condos. I get a lot of you calling me about condos. I've helped a lot of you buy condos. And hey, if you're thinking about wanting to buy a condo, reach out to me. All my contact information is down below. But, you know, I think some of the questions that I get are, you know, should I consider buying a condo in Midtown or Buckhead? Is there a difference? Is there a better choice and honestly it kind of boils down to your finances and kind of which location you like more but i'm going to com compare and contrast the differences in the condos that you can find in the midtown in buckhead as best as i can and first we'll talk about some of like the data that you can see i know some of you guys are data nerds and you want to know you know price per square foot and that kind of thing so first let's jump onto some charts so you can see the numbers so first thing you might be wondering is it generally more expensive to buy a condo in Buckhead versus Midtown. And honestly, I always thought Buckhead was gonna be hands down more expensive because Buckhead is just known for being the more affluent area of Atlanta. But honestly, it's really not that case. So on this chart, I've got yellow is Buckhead, green is Midtown. You can see that, you know, all for all across the board for all condos, the average sales price is pretty much the same. But if we take a look at one bedroom condos versus two bedroom condos in these areas, it tells a little bit of a different story. So now I have this filtered on one bedroom condos for both Midtown and Buckhead. Again, Midtown is in green, Buckhead is in yellow. You can see that Midtown is actually a little bit more expensive. As of July of 2024, a one bedroom condo will on average cost you around $299,000 versus a one bedroom in Buckhead will only cost you $261,000. So in this case, Buckhead is a little bit cheaper. Now let's look at two bedrooms. Two bedroom condos have the similar story. It's gonna cost you a little bit more to buy a two bedroom condo in Midtown than it would in the Buckhead area. So the chart is basically saying that it is a little bit more expensive to buy a condo in the Midtown area. Now what about price per square foot? That sometimes will tell you a story of per the square footage, how much are you having to pay more in one area or the other? Okay, so here is the price per square foot and you can see in Midtown, we are paying $381 on average for a one bedroom condo versus in Buckhead, only 318. So it costs you $63 more on average to buy a similar square footage condo unit in Midtown than it does in the Buckhead area. A similar story can be said about two bedroom condos. It's going to cost you $411 in Midtown versus $319 in the Buckhead area. And I will say these numbers don't lie. And I can tell you from my firsthand experience, condos generally are a little bit more spacious in the, the Buckhead area versus Midtown. If you are looking in Midtown, you're going to notice that the space or the square footage that you get for a one bedroom or a two bedroom condo is going to be a little bit more tight than what you would find in the Buckhead area. Now the Buckhead area has a few more older condo buildings and as the saying goes, they just don't build them like they used to. I feel like in the early 2000s when there was the big condo boom here in the Midtown area, they tried to pack in as many units as they could. So they kind of scraped off a little bit more square footage than some of these older buildings in the Buckhead area where they were a lot more spacious. I feel like as the years progress, I feel like builders are always trying to build more with less space. So if you're looking for more space and more value for your dollar, definitely be eyeing the Buckhead area versus Midtown. Now, the next thing you might be asking yourself is which condos sell faster? Are they condos in Buckhead or in Midtown? Well, let's look at the numbers here. So here in the numbers, you can see, you know, this is data as of July of 2024. And you can see for Midtown, it's 40 days on average. In Buckhead, it's taking about 41 days on average. So pretty much neck and neck. And then if you look at years past in 2023 and 2022, you can see that maybe Midtown sells a little bit faster 
but we're not talking by very much. So if you're worried about which area is gonna sell faster, I don't think that's gonna make much of a difference. So that's a quick look at some of the data and the numbers, but now let's talk a little bit more of the lifestyle. Now, depending on what kind of lifestyle you want, that might dictate where you wanna be, Midtown or Buckhead. Now, I've done a video on Midtown versus Buckhead, so if you've watched that video, this might be a little bit redundant, but I'll try to go into a little bit further detail because man, some of you disagreed with me when we talked about walkability in which area is more walkable. I'm still gonna go team Midtown for this one, I think as far as walkability concerns are, you're gonna be able to walk a lot easier in the Midtown area than in the Buckhead area. But one reason for this is Buckhead's just bigger. It is more spread out and sprawling. Let me jump to the map to show you what I mean. Okay, so I have the map pulled up here and you can see Buckhead is kind of highlighted in this red area. And you're gonna just see this is a massive area versus Midtown, it is just this cute little tiny, almost like triangle shape so you can see that midtown is just a smaller area to walk around it's going to be easier to walk around because it's a smaller area to cover versus the buckhead area now don't get me wrong most of buckhead is not condos it's really just centered right along here along peachtree road this is where you're going to find the majority of your condos for the buckhead area but let me scroll in a little further into the buckhead area and we'll talk about the differences of living kind of on the the northern side or the eastern side versus the southern side so a lot of your shopping the majority of your shopping is going to be right here you've got Phipps Plaza, Lenox Square, your malls, um, the grocery stores, boutique stores, they're all, I like that Lucy's Market, by the way, I got distracted looking at that little symbol, but all of your shopping and boutique stores and restaurants, that's going to be all primarily right up here in this northern section. Um, if you want to see this closer up, let me zoom in so you can get a good look at that. So we're talking, this is Roswell Road right here. Uh, this is Peachtree Road that keeps going along here. And then you're going to hit, um, let's see, this is Lenox Road. I'm sorry, this is Piedmont Road. And then we hit Lenox Road right up on this northern area. So um, those are kind of, you know, the layout of the land there. So a lot of shopping, all of the commercial stuff is happening right over here. But if we, if you're wanting something a little bit more quiet, you don't want to be in all of the noise and that kind of thing, then you're probably going to want to focus on condos here in Buckhead that are on the southern portion of Long Peachtree Street. Now, this road is still very, very busy. I mean, you got cars flying by, there's Piedmont Hospital, um, but you're not gonna have all of that shopping commercial stuff as much. So if you're not wanting all of that traffic, then you might wanna consider something over here where it's a little bit more quiet. But if you are wanting walkable Buckhead, then you would definitely want to focus your search up here on this northern area, especially, you know, this Buckhead Village area. This is a very, very walkable area where you can go to get a coffee, restaurants. There's very high end shopping here. If you want to know more about Buckhead Village, I've got a whole video showing you what this area is like. It's very hoity-toity. So if you like the finer things in life, this might be for you. But the only thing is, is there's only two condo buildings here. The rest are apartment buildings that are in this Buckhead Village area. Um, but if you are living anywhere along here, I would say this is all pretty walkable. You can walk to malls, you can walk to restaurants, um, but it is gonna feel a little bit more spread out. I don't know how to explain it, except that the blocks are just really large and I don't feel like the traffic is very pedestrian friendly as much as they are in the Midtown area. Now, I will tell you that if one of your goals is to live walkable to a MARTA station and you want to live in the Buckhead area, you're going to want to focus your search here and this northern section of the Buckhead area where all of the shopping and the busier areas are. Because there are only two stations in the Buckhead area, one is right here by the Lenox Mall, and then there's one right here off of Peachtree, uh, kind of where Highway 400 and Peachtree intersect. There is a station there. If you are seeing a condo building, but it is located on this southern section of the Buckhead area, let me scroll out here just a second. So if you're looking at a, a condo that's somewhere along this area, 
there are no MARTA stations to be had. So you would be walking quite a distance to get over to the most nearest MARTA station. Now, on the other hand, let's look at Midtown. So Midtown area, which I said is a lot more condensed. There are three MARTA stops in the Midtown area. You've got one here off of North Avenue. You've got one here off of 10th Street and you've got one off of 15th Street. So roughly right there and i'm just going to draw a rough overview of what midtown the the boundary lines of the midtown area looks like so this is your midtown area so smaller area to cover it's going to be a lot more walkable and the bonus of midtown is that you also get a green space so that's one thing people ask me all the time in buckhead hey where's a park that i can walk to really where all the condos are in the Buckhead area, there's really not green spaces. Um, you would have to go to Chastain Park, which is over two miles away from, you know, the Buckhead Village area. So Chastain Park is right here, but all of your condo units are typically like, you know, right in here. You would be walking two miles to get over to Chastain Park. That's like your next nearest big green space. So that's one thing that I do think gives Midtown an upper hand is that you can walk to a big green space, plus you have restaurants, coffee shops, that kind of thing in the Midtown area. So in my opinion, Midtown is just more walkable. Now, another topic we can talk about in terms of lifestyle would be if you wanna live near shopping. Now, this might sound silly, but I've actually had some people that came into town, thought they wanted to live in Midtown because they liked how walkable it was. And then come to find out after I showed them condos for two days, the wife, she wants to be near shopping and she realized Midtown does not have a lot of shopping and that is totally true. Midtown is really kind of office space, condos, apartments, hotels, and restaurants. There's not a lot of boutique shopping. If you're wanting shopping and you wanna live close to it, you wanna live in the Buckhead area, not Midtown. Now, if you're looking for luxury condo units here in Atlanta, and I'm talking like real luxury, like a million dollar plus units, you are going to find a lot more options in the Buckhead area than you would in Midtown. Midtown only has, you know, a handful, probably three that I can think of. You've got 40 West 12th and you have one museum place and there is the Lowe's, but in Buckhead, there is like several. You've got Waldorf Astoria, there's the Graydon, there is the Dillon that's being built as we speak. There's the Charles, the Ritz, the St. Regis, Sovereign. So a lot more to choose from in the Buckhead area. If you're looking for upscale luxury condos, Buckhead is gonna have a lot more options. Now, as far as traffic, is the traffic worse in Buckhead versus Midtown? Ah, you know, that's a toss up. I would say both are gonna have their days and their moments where traffic can be bad in both spots. Midtown traffic travels pretty well, but it can get congested at times. And Buckhead is just Buckhead. It's always gonna be trafficy and congested. So I don't really know if there's one that gets a little bit of an upper hand in having more traffic. I think they both do. Now, how are we doing overall in the condo market in general? Well, the short story is that the condo market is slowed down significantly um, from years past. You can look on this chart here and you can see that, you know, we kind of had this upswing of number of sales that were happening in 2021, 22. Of course, interest rates were super low, so people were gobbling them up. And as interest rates increased, you can see that the sales activity definitely decreased. But, you know, if you look at the sales price, it still has been steadily increasing over the years and it kind of flatlined there a little bit. And, you know, we're right now in April, May, June, we are kind of just seeing the, the price just month over month flatlining. I'm not seeing a huge change there, but month supply, we are still growing. There's a lot of people trying to sell their condo and it's just taking more time overall. You know, if we're looking at the Metro Atlanta mar condo market, we're at three and a half months. So um, definitely a, a lot more inventory to choose from. Now, I think one thing that is hurting the condo market are these higher interest rates. You know, you've got a higher mortgage payment and these condo buildings have had to increase their uh, HOA fees over the years, hello inflation, you know, it costs more to run a building, to pay the electricity, the maintenance of a building. So 
you know, HOA fees are a little bit higher. And so you couple that with a high mortgage payment, yeah, it's gonna limit the number of people that can afford certain condos or they may have to, instead of looking at that 500 to 700,000 bracket, have to start focusing at condos that are in that 300 to 500 bracket. And it can definitely change uh, the size of the condo unit that you are getting. So interest rates, I think, have definitely hurt a lot of buyers from getting maybe the condo that they want. The last thing I'll say before I go, that is if you are planning on financing a condo purchase, then it is really important that you work with a local lender here in Atlanta that knows the Atlanta condo market and has done loans on condos. Getting a loan on a condo is a lot trickier than you would think. You know, lenders do a lot of work behind the scenes that we don't usually see, but they are diving into all the details and doing a lot of investigative work to make sure that that condo building hits and checks marks off all the boxes that Fannie Mae and Freddie, Freddie Mac require to make it a warrantable condo, that's what they call it, or basically a condo that they will approve and loan money on. So for an example, you know, one requirement they have is that 10% of the budget has to be going to reserves. If it's lower than that, they may not give you the loan. So working with a lender that knows all these rules and can do all the investigative work is so crucial to have a successful closing and purchase of a condo unit. Okay, thanks for joining me. I hope this was helpful for you. Now, if you wanna talk further about Midtown, Buckhead, or any part of town on condos, feel free to reach out to me. I would love to help you out and find a future home here in the Atlanta area. All my contact information is down below. So if you're thinking about moving tomorrow or next year, you wanna have a chat, reach out to me. Would love to hear from you and say thank you for watching. So until next time, you guys, I'll see you around the neighborhood.